No, during the recruiting process of Sedarian, he played quarterback, he played defensive back. We knew he was going to be athletic. We knew he can help us on special teams. So uh, we're not surprised. Um, he's, he's been taking reps at, uh, as the punt returner and as a kickoff returner. He's got room for improvement, but um, he's a guy that's going to be thrown in the mix early. Do you feel better about the return game compared to, I remember last year you weren't as happy as all fans, so do you feel better this go around? I don't know if I feel better, I don't feel worse. I, I would say this, uh, Miss Jackie, is um, we've got some capable guys. When you think about our returners, starting with the kickoff return, think about Demique Stallings. I mean, he's a legit 10-4 guy. He's as fast as most college players in the country. And um, so he's capable of scoring, scoring every time he touched the ball. You got, um, you got Malik Washington, who's a really outstanding kick returner. Then you got Sedarian. Then you still throw in Kobe Pace, Mike Hollins, um, Paris Jones. As a kick returner, we got, we got a buttload of guys that, can, that are more than capable of getting the job done. And then as um, part returners, you got Ethan Davies. You still have Sedarian. You got um, Malik Washington. So we, got a, we, got, we got, got a large number of guys that are capable of going. So that makes me feel good as a guy that's making the call. Um, they just got to show and prove during the game. All the fundamental work you guys do in practice, special teams wise, of course, we get to see how, how much you hope that, that carries over, all the assistants that, that put time and effort into that, uh, how much you hope that carries over the team. Well, we're hoping it carries over, and that's, that's what we focus on throughout camp is just the fundamentals. Um, and the guys have done a great job of, 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 of working up the fundamentals and improving every day. And um, you like to see every every opportunity you get, it, it gets better. And so um, I look forward to seeing us be better on special teams. Uh, we're so much. I think we're better than we were last year, but we got to do it during the game. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with where we're at right now. Have you found some core special teams guys, maybe some younger guys that, that excite you? Great question. I was I was going through it um, yesterday. I was in the office, and uh, we went through the starters. Hey, how many how many units are the starters on? And then I went to the guys that aren't starters on the offensive defense. And I think I tallied up anywhere from 15 to 20 guys that are truly core guys that I consider starters on special teams. What does that mean? That means they can start on at least two or three units. I think they're guys that can play, should be starters on the offensive defense, they're just not. So I feel really good about the depth of core guys. Talk about punt coverage. Um, what improvements can be made this year to make that a little bit more reliable? So you're not having heart attacks? I think it starts with just first thing, just protecting. I think it starts with just the ball placement from my punter. I think, I think, and then the next part is just our guys understanding the aspect of covering. You know what I mean? And so we, we, we tweak some things with our scheme, which is going to make it better. I think you should see it on, on those Saturdays. But um, I think the guys have done a good job. We still got, we're still a work in progress. Um, but you, it should be, should be much improved. But it starts with the ball placement. And then it starts with, you know, obviously having some um, capable gunners that, that can get down there and force a fair catch or force a, um, the, down the ball. So we work really hard at that for the coverage aspect of it. Is Ganyard uh, figuring into the picture? I'm sorry? Is Ganyard figuring into the picture? Anyway? Absolutely. Matt's been a pleasant surprise. Uh, you know, Matt's name has been tossed around um, since um, spring. And then um, when he joined the team, um, I want to say maybe three, third, maybe early in camp, he joined the team. I mean, he is a pleasant surprise, all right? And if we was to start a game today, he might be a kickoff guy. He's going to be right up in the running. So that tells you a little bit. Hopefully that answers your question. So um, he's going to he's gonna have an impact in the kicking game, we hope. Is that reduced? Um, I was actually going to ask about the kicking game. Do you want to have a guy for each, like a kickoff? Is that what you're you, you, you hope to have the best guy who could do all of them. So I think right now you're getting to a point where you, you're having a guy from each unit, which is good. So they can kind of major in one aspect of the game. Um, but you never know. They may have to do dual, dual um, roles. So um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a heated competition. And the place kicking as of right now between Will and Matt. Um, and we'll see the best man win. But um, they both are competing at, um, for kickoff and a field goal. So um, that's been um, it's been a heated competition, and it should go into next week. Going off of that, I mean, Bet Rich is wearing the Sean's jersey. Have you kind of seen him grow in taking on just that, that responsibility of honoring him? He's been way more mature um, compared to last year, which you expect that as a first year to be um, continue to get better. As I'm um, going into year two, he's still got a lot of room to grow up. 
And um, but he should be better. He's ultimately he's he's already stronger. He's kicking it a little bit better. Um, um, one area is better than the other. Um, so we got to continue to work with him. But he is definitely more mature, a little bit more reliable, uh, and more consistent um, from last year. When you're going off of that, is it hard to kind of compare somebody like that Rich to you know Matt Gaynard, who's no, it's not hard to compare. They both got a job to do. And, um, you know, you would think Will, Will's will been part of this team for a year, so he should have a leg up on Matt. Matt's just joining the team for the first time, and but it's been um, it's been a heated competition. Um, Matt's not taking the back seat to Will. Mark was really good for you guys last year, and I know we talked about using like, wide receivers and running backs as weapons. Can you use a punter and, and scheme to that as a, as a weapon? Absolutely. Um, Sparky is just like a quarterback. He's, he's, a, he's a weapon. I mean, he can flip the field with, um, with his kick. Um, he's done a great job for his ball placement, hang time. Um, and we got to do a good job protecting him and allowing him to be, be himself because he, 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 he is a weapon for our team.